What's going on? Welcome back to Reviewed. So, friends over at Tobin One have sent this MacBook dock, which allows you to just have more ports for your Mac, just a single plug-in, you know, USB-C that allows you to have multiple uh, monitor stations as well. And it's kind of like this interesting raised typing experience too. So you can be working on your Mac and have multiple displays, which is super nice. First and foremost, I mean, the packaging, minimal. You know me, I like minimal stuff. There's not a lot going on here, which I think is really nice and sick and sleek. But yeah, let's get into it. Before we unbox, I wanted to say, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. This channel is brand new to us. Our main channel is Spencer Scott Pugh, but we wanted a place to be able to review more products and bring you more exciting tech that hit our inbox every day. So that being said, please consider subscribing if that sounds cool to you. We're gonna be open and honest with our reviews and uh, impressions of these products. You can expect that from us. But anyway, let's dive into it. So. Let's go ahead and get my trusty unboxing knife here from my amazing editor, Ben. All right, close that up. Let's see what we got here. So like I said, I love the packaging. I think that's really cool. Let's go ahead and pull off the top here, which as always in the description down below, you can check that out for hopefully a certain percentage off as well as it helps the channel if you buy through that affiliate link, which we're always appreciative of that. Man, that orange is a really cool color too, so. All right, nice little thank you. Resolution guide, this is something I actually wanna dive into. So system, I have a MacBook Pro with the M2 chip, I believe, so, or maybe even the M3 chip, I'm not sure. But Mac OS, two lane, dual monitor, extend ABC mode, extend AB mode, port HDMI 1, HDMI 2, 4K resolution, one of them up to 60 hertz, and then the two others 30 hertz. Now, if you're running dual monitor, you can have 60 hertz in both of them. If you want to read it, you can pause that there so you can get more details of that. Please know that this product is designed for macOS laptops only. If your laptop uses the Windows operating system, please purchase the different model. So that's good to know too, as you're looking into maybe getting one of these. This product can only extend to one screen for MacBook with M1, M2, M3 chips, and I'm guessing M4 chips. So it is gonna be important that you know your MacBook and its capabilities when you order this so you can align the dock with the Mac that you have. You can see here some notes about compatibility with the product that you have if you wanna pause the screen there as well. So. Good to know. Here is what seems to be the dock itself. We'll lay that there for a second. We'll pull out this extra packaging. So here is the power brick, which is nice. And it looks like it comes with a double USB-C setup that will go into the side of your MacBook and MacBook Pro. And then this will actually go into the dock itself. Here is, ooh, that's a nice touch. So it's interesting, it's got the flip out plug, but then this part can't come off. But anyway, there's the uh, power, which actually is USB-C, which is super interesting. So I guess you could technically use this. This is a 100 watt charger. So I guess you could literally just use this to charge your Mac too, if you wanted to. Uh, but that's a nice power situation there. Okay, we have what feels like aluminum kind of unibody. If you can see that, it goes all the way around. You've got nice rubber feet here on the bottom. And here's your IO. You've got your lock system. I've never used one of these. I bought one in college. I think I've talked about it before. This like way of locking it to your desk, whatever. In office spaces, I guess that makes more sense. 10 gigabytes on both of these USB-Cs here. Your micro SD and regular SD card slot here. This is what appears to be some kind of power button. And then you have actually a microphone and headphone port right there as well. On the back, you're gonna get that 2.5 gigabits per second. Ethernet port, you have a DP display, HDMI 2, HDMI 1, two different displays there. USB 3.0s on these two USB-A ports, 10 gigabits per second on this USB-A port. PD port here, which is power, and then you have your two hosts there, which is where you're gonna plug this in to be able to attach it to your MacBook. The other thing I'll mention here are these interesting little stands here for your Mac. So if you have your Mac, you can kind of prop it up a little bit and have a better typing experience. So that's just a nice little touch. It's got nice rubber feet here. I do kind of wish they were a little bit wider. I don't know that it really matters, but that's the look that we're going for here. 
So it almost exactly matches the finish of the Mac here, which is also a nice touch, but you set your Mac up like that, and then you have more of a raised, let's see, more of a raised typing experience, which is nice. And then in terms of connectivity, yeah, we would just take this out here. I feel like sometimes these cords are like unnecessarily long. So that's gonna be kind of your look there when you're connecting your devices. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be simple as that. This is gonna be able to provide power to your Mac by way of the dock. Like I said, you have access to all of these ports. Ultimately, build quality wise, looks wise, this is awesome. I'd love to have this on my desk. You can also do it like that and have a little bit less, but there's still the grip of the bottom of your MacBook on there. So yeah, this is gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for Tobin1 for sending this out. I do have two monitors I use sometimes, but getting those out of their stations and stuff is gonna take a lot of time and effort. Uh, probably gonna be using this in the new studio, to be honest. Uh, maybe even give it to Ben or Hunter here to just you know, give them some more IO on their MacBooks and their on-the-go setups and uh, add to that with their desktop setup. I always like the idea of a dock because you come in here, you have one thing to plug in to your Mac and then you're like fully in desktop mode. You have access to all these ports, you know, multiple monitors. It's just a nice thing to have. And I, I again, I can't thank Tobin one enough. I've, I've really enjoyed talking with my contact uh, via email there. They were excited. We were excited to have them featured on this new channel. So. Anyway, thanks again to Tobin1. Links in the description if you would like to pick yours up. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Like this video for more. Watch this video next. We think you're going to love it. And we'll see you next time on Reviewed.